Exodus chapter 39. Of the blue, purple, and crimson yarns, they made finely worked vestments for ministering in the holy place. They made the sacred vestments for Aaron, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He made the ephod of gold, of blue, purple, and crimson yarns, and of fine twisted linen. Gold's leaf was hammered out and cut into the and cut into threads to work into the blue, purple, and crimson yarns and into the fine twisted linen in skilled design. They made for the ephod shoulder pieces, joined to it at its two edges. The decorated band on it was of the same materials and workmanship of gold, of blue, purple, and crimson yarns, and of fine twisted linen as the Lord had commanded Moses. The onyx stones were prepared, enclosed in settings of gold filigree, and engraved like the engravings of a signet, according to the names of the sons of Israel. He set them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod to be stones of remembrance for the sons of Israel, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He made the breastpiece in skilled work, like the work of the ephod, of gold, of blue, purple, and crimson yarns, and of fine twisted linen. It was square. The breastpiece was made double, a span in length and a span in width when doubled. They set in it four rows of stones, a row of carnelian, chrysolite, and emerald was the first row, and the second row a turquoise, a sapphire, and a moonstone, and the third row a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst, and the fourth row a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in settings of gold filigree. There were twelve stones with names corresponding to the names of the sons of Israel. They were engraved like signets, each with its name, for the twelve tribes. They made on the breast piece chains of pure gold, twisted like cords. And they made two settings of gold filigree and two gold rings and put the two rings on the two edges of the breast piece. And they put the two cords of gold in the two rings at the edges of the breast piece. Two ends of the two cords they had attached to the two settings of filigree. In this way, they attached it in front to the shoulder pieces of the ephod. Then they made two rings of gold and put them at the two ends of the breast piece on its inside edge next to the ephod. They made two rings of gold and attached them in front to the lower part of the two shoulder pieces of the ephod at its joining above the decorated band of the ephod. They bound the breast piece by its rings to the rings of the ephod with a blue cord so that it should lie on the decorated band of the ephod, and that the breast piece should not come loose from the ephod, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He also made the robe of the ephod woven all of blue yarn, and the opening of the robe in the middle of it was like the opening in a garment, with a binding around its edge, so that it might not be torn. On the lower hem of the robe, they made pomegranates of blue, purple, and crimson yarns and of fine twisted linen. They also made bells of pure gold and put the bells between the pomegranates on the lower hem of the robe all around between the pomegranates, a bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate all around on the lower hem of the robe for ministering as the Lord had commanded Moses. They also made the tunics woven of fine linen for Aaron and his sons, and the turban of fine linen, and the headdresses of fine linen, and the linen undergarments of fine twisted linen, and the sash of fine twisted linen, and of blue, purple, and crimson yarns, embroidered with needlework as the Lord had commanded Moses. They made the rosette of the holy diadem 
of pure gold and wrote on it an inscription, like the engraving of a signet, holy to the Lord. They tied to it a blue cord to fasten it on the turban above, as the Lord had commanded Moses. Thus all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting was finished. The Israelites had done everything just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Then they brought the tabernacle to Moses, the tent, and all its utensils, its clasps, its frames, its bars, its pillars, and its bases, the covering of tanned ram skins and the covering of fine leather, and the curtain for the screen, the ark of the covenant with its poles and the cover, the table with all its utensils and the bread of the presence, the pure lampstand with its lamps set on it and all its utensils and the oil for the light, the golden altar, the anointing oil and the fragrant incense, and the screen for the entrance of the tent, the bronze altar and its grating of bronze, its poles and all its utensils, the basin with its stand, the hangings of the court, its pillars and its bases, and the screen for the gate of the court, its cords and its pegs, and all the utensils for the service of the tabernacle, for the tent of meeting, the finely worked vestments for ministering in the holy place, the sacred vestments for the priest Aaron, and the vestments of his sons to serve as priests. The Israelites had done all of the work as the Lord had commanded Moses. When Moses saw that they had done all the work as the Lord had commanded, he blessed them.